All right, starting off first here with a 1988 Washington quarter that has been broad struck. Now this coin sold years ago, so it's not really a price that is kind of relevant to today's prices. It only sold for around $15. You know, I'm thinking this coin would probably sell, you know, over $40 nowadays. It is graded by Annex at a mint state 63, and it does have that broad strike mint error. So you can see that around the rim of the coin there. So always be on the lookout for broad strikes on all kinds of different coins, not just quarters. Now here is a 1988 Washington quarter. Did I say 98? I meant 88 before. Uh, this is the D mint mark. Now this coin is graded by PCGS at a very high grade, a mint state 67 grade. And this coin sold for over $1,600. A $1,600 quarter all because of its condition slash grade. So the coin grading scale goes up to 70. This is at a 67. That's why the coin is valuable because of the grade population. There's probably tons of these at a mint state 65, 66, but when you get into 67, 68, on up to 70, there's probably not many of them, and that's what and that's what gives it its value. Now here's a 1988 mint error quarter. Uh, so the quarter design here was struck onto a five cent planchet, a Jefferson nickel planchet. That's why the design is being cut off here. It is graded and authenticated by NGC at a mint state 66. And this coin ended up selling for over $850 at auction. Now here's the 1988 D quarter that was struck 10% off center. You, again, you can look for off centers on all kinds of different uh, coins, not just quarters. It is graded by Annex at an AU55, so not a high mint state grade here, but the quarter still sold for around $50 in this condition. Now here is a more off center coin that is graded by Annex as well at a mint state 63. This coin sold for around $70 at auction. It's the 1988 P mint mark. Here is an off center coin that has not been graded so this quarter sold as is on eBay. It is the P mint mark from 1988. Uh, this quarter ended up selling for around $70 recently. So not even graded uh, $70 for this quarter, uh, which is pretty crazy. So uh, you never know what you can get on eBay uh, at auction. So always uh, you know check out the sold listings on there to see what you can get for your coins. Now here is a 1988 Washington quarter design that was struck onto a Roosevelt dime planchet. Again, that's why the design is being cut off here because it was struck onto a dime planchet. And this coin is graded by Annex at a mint state 62. And this quarter ended up selling for around $480 at auction. Now here's the 1988 Washington quarter here on the reverse, it looks very normal, but here on the obverse, we are missing that outer clay layer. That's why you see the inner copper layer of the coin. Now this quarter is graded by NGC at a mint state 62, and this coin sold at auction for over $155. Now for this coin, this is the 1988 P mint mark. So this is the same uh, kind of thing as the high graded D mint mark. It's graded at a mint state 67 by NGC. So that is where all of the value is at, is in the grade, the condition itself. And that's why the quarter sold for over $640 because of that high grade. Now here is a quarter that sold as is on eBay, 1988 and you know circulated condition it's not a high mint state graded coin or anything and this coin sold for around fifty dollars at auction because here on the reverse it has a die break which is also referred to as a cud you'll see that extra metal there covering up uh you know the word america on the rim of the coin so this coin ended up selling like i say for around fifty dollars at auction as is all right, guys, don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Feel free to check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.